What's up guys, it's the Nail Polish Challenge and today I am doing this totally unplanned video. I just got this huge package in the mail and I thought maybe it would be a cool idea if I opened it on camera because I know that we all like sort of live vicariously through each other with like nail mail and unboxings and hauls and stuff. So I don't know, I started opening this package um, and then I was like, wait a second, why don't I film this? It would be really cool. So this is a giant package that I got from HP Beauty Bar, which is one of my favorite retailers. Um, and yeah, I actually got another <laughs> package too. It was just uh, a letter in the mail that was like a bunch of stickers from the What's Up Nail store, which I totally love. You guys have seen me use a lot of stencils. Most likely they are from the What's Up Nail store and they just got a bunch of new ones, which looks really cool. I see like palm trees and like sort of a bullseye circle thing and um, this like fishnets design and some squiggles so that's really cool and I also got this um, pure color number seven nail art brush and this is technically not a brush it's a water marbling tool so like for when you're doing water marble design in the water this is like a super pointy um, pen sort of tool that you can use to make cool designs so that's from the What's Up Nail store. And then I got this big package, like I said, from HP Beauty Bar. So as far as I know, this is the um, OPI Fall Winter Collection, the China Glaze Fall Collection, and the Cuccio Fall Collection. So I don't know, I get big packages like this sometimes and I feel like people are always curious about it. So it would be really cool if I just, you know, showed you guys what it was like to get a bunch of stuff. I don't know. Does that sound greedy? I don't know. I already opened up the first one and then that's when I was like, oh my god, let me film this. So this is the first one. It's, it's China Glaze Let's Do It, D-E-W It, which is hilarious. I didn't get the name until I said it out loud. Um, let's get into it. So um, this is just a big package from YouTube Beauty Bar. And you can see that there's just a bunch of these little like rolls which have the nail polish in it. I see it in a box in here as well. So. Um, it's honestly it's such a tedious process to open up each bottle of nail polish, but this is, I mean, obviously it's the best way to keep it safe. So this is Chani Glaze Sleeping Under the Stars. It's pretty gorgeous. Um, so yeah, that's another Chani Glaze Fall Collection. This is also another Chani Glaze I see. And oh my God, this is like a super, super gorgeous, like, Bampy maroon, like almost mahogany color, and it's called Free Bear Hugs. Um, so yeah, another China Glaze here. This is a gorgeous looking silver foil. This is a Check Out the Silver Fox. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be like throwing close-ups in here. I feel like that's a lot of effort, but whatever. Um, so now we got Wood, W-O-O-D, You Wanna? which is like, it looks like another foil, but this one's sort of got like a little bit of a um, brownish, pinkish hue to it. So this is really pretty. I can imagine myself using this a lot for nail art. So probably they look super gorgeous together. Okay, ah, I see the first OPI. Um, and this is another super gorgeous, like vampy color. I really love, love wearing dark colors in the fall and the winter, like super, super vampy colors. Um, and this is Oh Suzy Mio. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, I spy another China Glaze, and this is like, um, oh my god, I don't even know how to describe this color. It's like sort of a dusty rose color, I guess. My Lodge or yours, China Glaze. Um, and we got another China Glaze. This one looks green. Oh my god, this is so pretty. This is like a, an insane forest green. It's like enchanted forest looking gorgeousness. It is called Take a Hike. Oh my God, I'm gonna use this like immediately. I wanna wear this right now. Um, so, okay, this is the first Cuccio polish and oh my God, I can already see that it's insane. I've never even seen anything like this. It's called Dancing Queen and it's like, it's like a super royal darkish sort of blue, but it's got copper and green shimmer in it, I wanna say. And I, oh my God, I've never seen anything like this. I'm gonna, I don't know, I kinda wanna throw in a close-up of this because it's so pretty. I feel like Cuccio is like really up there with like, I don't know, OPI and Essie. I think it's such an incredible formula. I absolutely love the brushes. I love how long they last, so I don't know. It's an underrated brand. It's probably one of my favorites to be honest. 
So this is another China Glaze. This is one of the ones where I was like, why is this in a fall collection? It doesn't even look like a fall polish. Um, it's called S'more Fun, which again, totally doesn't make sense. But looking at it in person, it's kind of cool. I can imagine using it for nail art, so that's pretty cool. Okay, moving on. Oh, wait, I just saw like a crazy shimmer, so uh, I feel like this one's gonna be so cool. Oh my God, what even is this? It's called Pondering. It looks like a multi-chrome. It's another China Glaze one. And it's like, like it looks purple straight on, but then like when you see it in the light, it's sort of, it's almost like an oil spill. Um, so it's got like the green and the blue and almost like a, a silvery sort of shimmer in it. So that's really cool. Um, here's, I see another multi-chrome. And this one is like gold at first glance, but then it turns into like green and blue, which is another gorgeous thing. It's called Gone Glamping. Let me, I wanna open this because I just wanna see what it looks like. And yes, this is exactly <laughs> how I open up my packages. I just sit here and I honestly, sometimes I even like listen to music and get really into it. And I just like, take out all the polishes and I freak out over each one individually and I line them up in like rainbow order and it's fine, oh, this is whole thing. So, okay, I see another OPI and this is a white. Okay, so it looks like HG Beauty Bar sent me another Alpine Snow, which is seriously awesome. I don't know if they saw my video about my favorite whites, but I buy Alpine Snow literally all the time, so it's super cool. Thank you guys for sending this to me. Um, I Seriously, this is one of my favorite white polishes. So, not part of the fall winter collection. That's just uh, an awesome polish. So this next one is OPI Be There in a Prosecco. And this is like um, a beige, creamy, sort of new color, gorgeous. Um, okay, here is, it looks like another OPI. Oh my God, and it's pretty red. Uh, I'm like not usually a red nail polish wearer, but for some reason, like in the fall and winter, it just like comes out, you know, I just have to wear it. Um, this is Amore at the Grand Canal. This is, oh my God, this is actually a really gorgeous red. Oh, and another reason that I don't wear red is because when I was living at home, every time I got a package, my mom would like stand there and hover and like wait until I opened up a red bottle and she'd just be like, okay, I'll take this one and then leave. So now I finally get a red nail polish to myself. And it's a gorgeous one. Um, this is a great opera tunity, and this is another OPI. This is really nice. I feel like colors like this are so um, like under loved by the, like the nail you know, polish community. Okay, so we got another OPI. This one looks like another like beige color. This is tiramisu for two, and I'm gonna hold it up next to. It. Okay, yeah. So you can see that, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this one's a fair bit darker than this. This is more of like a beige, and this is more of like a nude for, a nude for me, it's like my skin tone. Okay. So we got, and I'm just, at this point, I'm just throwing all the, the ball wrap on the floor, so. Okay, so I, I just went to answer the door, and I just got another, this is huge, package from Tezio, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, so I'll do this one too after I'm done with this box. Today is a great day for nail mint. I, I was like unwrapping this as I walked over the door. This is OPI Give Me a Lido Kiss. And it's, um, it's like another red, but this one's got a fair bit of shimmer in it. So it's super gorgeous. Okay. Um, so here's another one. I, oh my God, I just dropped this one, but it's totally fine. Um, this is, it's a Piazza. It's a piece of cake. <laughs> um, I'm like butchering, I know I'm butchering these names. I'm sorry. Um, and it's like this gorgeous orangey, burnt orange color, I love it. Okay, up next. I can feel myself dropping all the stuff that's over there on the other side of the box, but whatever. Ugh, I've been, I'm so excited for this one, like I can't even, I can't even tell you how excited I've been. Okay, so this is OPI Gelato on my mind, and it's uh, so pretty. I've seen swatches of this, and I'm just like, I need it. I absolutely need it. So this is like a gorgeous minty color. I'm obsessed. Okay. Next, I see another Cuccio here, and this is like, oh, it's a really pretty navy sort of blue. It's called Wild Nights, K-N-I-G-H-T-S. I wonder, I don't know what the, the Cuccio fall theme is, but I'll find out what that pun means. So this is gorgeous. I, 
I can't get enough navy blue. Actually, it's so weird. People make fun of me. Um, but my favorite color is navy blue, and I know it's like ooh, navy blue specifically, but yes, navy blue is my favorite color. So I really can't get enough navy blue nail polish. I don't really paint um, navy blue nail art designs just because I know some people are just like, that's it's a stupid color, but um, I love it. So this is OPI. My gondola or yours, and it looks like a black, but it's got like a slight bit of shimmer in it, so really pretty. Just throwing stuff on the floor. Oh, this is another multi chrome. It looks super nice. Okay, this is China Glaze Cabin Fever, and this is another, it looks like another multi chrome. And so, like, when you're looking head on, it looks like uh, almost like a pinky red color, but then, like, on the edges, you can see a gold and like greenish, so that's really cool. All right, see another OPI. Okay. And this is almost like a whitish color too. This is called, I can only wear OPI. Okay. I get it. I'm like the person that like takes a second to read it and then laughs because it's like, so you, I don't know if you can see on camera, but like it looks like almost a more gray. Um, this is Alpine Snow and this is the, the one I just opened. And so it looks like, yeah, it's a little bit more gray, not necessarily a true white. If I had heard of this, maybe I would have saved it for my white video, but it's not a true white anyway, so I guess that's fine. Okay, so next we have OPI Purple Palazzo Pants. And that's, it looks like a really, a really nice dusty dry color. And it looks like we're getting to the end. Not much left, so. We have the box left still. Okay, um, here's another OPI. I have like love OPI, I can't even. Okay, this is OPI worth a pretty penny. Um, and it's like a copper foil. It's really nice. So, um, HP Beauty Bar doesn't like pay me or anything for this, but they did give me a um, discount code for you guys. So if you use the code Polish Challenge at checkout. Oh no, this one's kind of broken. Um, sorry, let me finish my thoughts and then I'll go into this. Um, if you use the code Polish Challenge at checkout, I believe you get 15% off. So this one is actually, I'm looking at it now, this polish is not broken. It just leaked a tiny bit, so there's like a little bit of crusty nail polish on it. This is OPI Change Your Altitude, and it's like a really nice gray. So when this happens, it's really not a big deal. I just um, take a Q-tip or um, a cotton ball and I, in acetone and I just rub it off. Um, or you can even peel it off sometimes, which is what I started to do. So that's fine. All right. It's like the worst when you get a nail polish fatality. So this is the, this looks like the rest of the Cuccio fall collection and it's in this nifty little box. Oh, it's the Dancing Queen collection. Okay, so we got Duke It Out, which is like, oh my God, this is really pretty. So at first glance, it's just like a plain old brown shimmer, but then you see like these tiny little fuchsia sparks in it. So that's pretty. Um, we got I love nail polish names. This is Cuccio, that's so king key. <laughs> I like am blushing just saying that. It's like a super pretty, like fuchsia red color. Red color, no, it's like a fuchsia pink. I'm getting flustered because it's a kinky name. Um, then we got Count Me In. This is like another dusty um, lavenderish color. Um, Prince I've Been Gone, which is a teal. We got a little Royal Flush, ooh, this is so pretty. You know what this reminds, it's called Royal Flush, sorry, I didn't even finish my sentence, I was just like, <laughs> moving on to the next thought. This reminds me of OPI every month's Oktoberfest, which was like a polish that was really popular. I don't remember if it was two years ago or maybe three years ago, but I was obsessed with it. I wore it all the time. And this looks like a very suitable dupe for it. I don't know, I, I might have to pull it out. It might be a little bit lighter. Okay. And then we got, well, it looks like another multi-chrome, which is Crown Jewels. This is another one. Let me grab the one that looks like this, because... Okay, no, they're not similar at all. So this one's like a super orangey gold color, and this one, I don't even know if I can call it a gold anymore, because it doesn't really look that much like it. Both of them are multi-chromes. This one, 
also seems to have that sort of fade into like uh, blue green so I don't know if you guys are interested in like a comparison let me know um, so if you've ever seen in the background one of my videos that I have this giant box cutter this is why because I get so much nail mail it's crazy um, so I just let me push push this all to the side those are the ones from HB Beauty Bar this is Tezio and I've never gotten anything from them before so I have literally no idea what is going to be in this package I hope it's cool because it's going on camera. Okay, so, oh my god. This is like, do you guys, no, you can't see it. Look at this. It's like fuzzy things. I love this. Okay, so, more honking. Get this all aside. It's like, oh my god, there's a giant box in here. Okay, here. Here's the giant Tezio. I honestly don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. Is that everything that's in here? Yeah, and then there's just a ton of this. So that's really cool. Oh, and a, oh, it's a shipping label. Okay. Wow, so this is the Tezio box. I don't know what's in it. Let's find out. Um, this is just a letter from them. So you can see it's like really cute packaging already. I'm, I'm really into it. It's got this little bow and it says, we love and So this is really cute. I feel like it's, it's like I'm, I'm unwrapping a present for myself. Okay, so it looks like there's a lot of stuff in here. You can see there's this love and lacquer box, and then there's this little, looks like cosmetic kit, and then I don't even know what this big thing is. So let's start with this little guy. This is cute. Okay. This is another, oh my god, this is super cool. So I see, so it's just a couple of little things in here. It looks like it's almost like a makeup bag, I guess. Super cute. Um, so I see Smith's Rosebud Self, and this is, I'm guessing, just for your cuticles and your skin and for any area that needs like a lot of moisture. I've never used this brand before, but I'll let you know what I think of it. And then we also have Strawberry Lip Balm, also Smith's. So, I don't know. Never heard of this brand, but I'll definitely check it out. And then we have this Love and Lacquer box. So this is their, um, I believe this is their subscription box that they send out. And all right, I'm gonna show you this box too, it's pretty cool. Um, so it looks like there's like this, literally a drawing of like all these models on polishes. And it says, welcome to Love and Lacquer, a new way to discover color. And it also tells you like what's in this and it says like you will either receive this one or this one or this one so you're getting like sort of a surprise I guess. Cute. Okay. So so far I can see that there's a nail buffer so it's got like the file and buff and shine and stuff so that just keeps your nail like if you have bridges in your nails this makes it pretty um, smooth. And I see some Dirty Works foot butter which is like this foot cream and also Dirty Works hand cream. And I've never tried this brand before, but I'll definitely let you, if you guys are interested, I can do like a whole review of these. And I see Model's Own Amethyst. Am I pronouncing that right? I don't know if I pronounce things right. Um, and based on the cap, it looks like it's one of those velvet finishes. And I see another one, uh, Model's Own Jade Stone. Oh my god, this color is really pretty. It's like another minty green color. And another model zone, this is Utopia, and it just looks like a really pretty, like, I want to say greenish. It's like almost, it's got a little pink in it, but I really like it. And then we have this Head Candy model zone beach party. So that's like a neon one. So that's what's in this Love and Lacquer box. So then we have this thing, which is, oh my god, it's surprisingly heavy. Okay, first of all, what this is, it's coming in like a, a plastic case. So it looks like it's almost for like showcasing your polishes, which is awesome. I never gotten like any sort of packaging that, you know, you can actually use. So this is from the Couture storage line. So this is called their skinny tray. So I don't even know how to get the polishes out of here, <laughs> but 
do. Oh, they're like, they're taped in. That's not bad. Okay. So this is, this is the, what did I call it? I don't even remember. This is the skinny tray. So I'm definitely going to utilize this. This is awesome. Um, I use a clear tray for my makeup, so it would look really nice, I think, standing next to it. And it's nicely wrapped, but I'll, I'll keep it wrapped up for now. Okay, so it looks like there's a bunch of polishes in here. I don't see any names on them, but, um, so it's a brand called Tease, T-E-E-E-Z, Breeze. And there's a bunch of polishes in here. Um, so I see some really pretty polishes in here. Let's see if I'm going to do any swatching. Exclusive polish from the Netherlands. And yeah, I see some holographic polishes in here. I see a couple like super glittery polishes and a lot of creams. So these are all really nice. Okay, so that is it for this unboxing video. Um, I'm not sure if this is something you guys would be interested in in the future. This was just happened to be a really great nail day for me. So got a bunch of stuff. Um, if there's anything that you guys are interested in seeing up close or anything, just let me know. I'll, you know, post some photos, I'm sure, on Instagram. Or if you follow me on Snapchat, um, I'm at Kelly Dobrin. That's my name, and I'll, I'll write it somewhere. Just, I don't know if you guys know how to spell my name. Um, but I'll post a bunch of pictures and video maybe of this stuff, and you can get a closer look. So, and, um, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you subscribe for more nail art. I hope my sister's not watching this because this is her bracelet and I took it and I moved to another state with it. So thanks, sis. But anyway, this is what happens when you live in the city. I, I, I like. Can I stop breaking stuff? Seriously.